Okay, welcome to this um, series of Vectorworks training videos and in this unit I want to um, talk about um, some editing and modifying tools um, that will help you in the um, drawing and changing and layout of your um, of your shapes. Okay, so um, we're going to jump right in and I've drawn a triangle here just for us to start working with. And the first tool that I want to talk to you about is going to be Rotate. And the Rotate tool is located right here. It's underneath our little magic wand. If you hover over it, it will show you that it's Rotate, right? And so the first thing we're going to want to do is select whatever it is that we want to rotate. So I'm going to select this triangle and I will say Rotate. Now, it gives us our little protractor here. And the first thing that it wants to know is what, where do you want to rotate around, right? You're going to spin this object, and what, what is the center point of that spin? So in this example, I'm going to select right at the corner of the vertices. Now, the second point that it wants to know is what is the reference point? What's the reference angle you want to start your rotation from? I'll select this other endpoint. So now I've selected a vertical line. Now I can rotate this around however I want. You can see that I have common angles and then I also have all of the un unconstrained angles in between. I can rotate it 90 degrees and if I click again, this is my third click, it rotates my shape. Now I can select any point that I want to um, rotate around. Here's the center point. Here's the midpoint of the hypotenuse. Let's say that I want to rotate around the midpoint of the hypotenuse. I can click there. That's my first click. And now it wants to know what, where do I want it to rotate around. And maybe I want to rotate around this endpoint this time along the line of the hypotenuse. I click here and now I'm rotating around that and I could rotate that to where the hypotenuse is um, um, parallel to the x-plane or it's on the x-plane, right? So we can rotate around anything that we want and we can choose any angle that we want to be able to rotate that around. Now the same thing applies if I'm drawing a line. Let's draw a line and I want to rotate that line. It's The line is selected. I select the Rotate tool and I can decide where I want to rotate. That's my first click and I've clicked on the endpoint. I've come out and selected the next endpoint is my second click and then my third click is whatever angle I want that to be. That's a 45 degree angle. Yes? Right? So that's our Rotate tool and that's how we use that. Again, if you make a mistake, you can do a little control Z, back up, and try it again. So play with the rotate tool a little bit. It very much can be your friend.